Hi beautiful people! How are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So for today, it's been a long long time since I last uploaded... Oh, the chicken is so excited! Since I last uploaded a flower tutorial and for today, I have a very special request from one of my loyal subscribers, which is Krishni from South Africa. So she requested for this beautiful iris flower. So I'm gonna show you my technique how I created this one without using any cutters, without using any veiners at all. And see that it's so thin and all the coloring technique, I'm gonna show you how. Also, I have an online class coming up. So if you wanted to learn how to make this very pretty edible bouquet, you can actually message me on Facebook or Instagram. Check the comment section down below for the link. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so I'll be showing you how to make uh, an iris flower without using any cutters at all, okay? So basically, um, what I have here is three different sizes of ball, okay? You have to make them at least at the same sizes, okay? If you don't have a specific ruler, you can also use a weighing scale, okay? You need to first create one set okay of different sizes and then you need to create the same sizes at least three pieces each okay so for the first size this is 1.5 centimeter this will be the the bigger petal that is flopping down and then the second size is one centimeter okay and then the last size is 0 0.5 centimeter or half a centimeter okay and then later on i'll show you how to treat each and every circle to make it beautiful petals Okay, so the first thing you do, uh, you need to elongate your bigger or the biggest circle, okay? So this is the 1.5 centimeter. So I'll elongate it on my hands. Okay, see that? So once it's elongated just like so, you can actually do this with all the same petals because they have to be the same sizes, okay? And then using your two fingers, I will press, okay, just like that. See that? I press, 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 just like that. We'll take a closer look so you can see better. See that? So just press, 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 press. Okay. So the paste that I'm using, this is color light blue. Okay, so it's white I added with very little blue. Okay, see that? So when I'm flatting, I'm actually creating a line at the center. This is where you'll be inserting your wire. Okay. So once it's thin, just like that, see it's a little bit elongated. Okay. So the size is now, we will measure. So it's already 4 cm. Okay. 4 cm by 3 cm. Okay. And then after that, you need to get your ball tool. So I suggest you use the smaller one. And then you need to okay, pull the edges. To make it thinner. And then as you do that, you see the edges, it's becoming rough and roughly. That's because we are using the smaller ball tool, okay? You can flat this up a little bit also. Just like that. Okay. So we need to expand. Okay, we need to expand this. And as you're doing this, you're actually thinning out the petal. Okay, you see that? You can actually flip this over so it's more clean. Okay. See that? Okay, so after that, what you need to do, we'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, so using your barbecue stick, you can actually create lines. So starting here, of course, we'll create lines. Going out, okay, see that? So we started from here, all of the veins is going out, outward. Okay, just like that. And then I'll be inserting my wire. So for the wire, we are using wire number 28. 
You can also use 26, okay? So I'll just insert it. Don't forget to loop the ends. Okay, and then I insert. I insert my wire only until here, okay? At the middle. Because later on, you need to let it dry while this is folded, okay? But before we do that, you need to lock this first, okay? Press, lock, press, and lock. Okay, it's out of focus. Hello? Okay, so just press and lock. And then after that, you need to put the ends actually on your hand, okay? And then using your barbecue skewers, we will create ruffles. So to prevent it from sticking on your hands, you need to add cornstarch on your hands just a little bit, okay? Then put it on top of your finger. And then gently I press, then move. See that? So what it does, it actually creates ruffles. You see that? See what's happening with the petals? Okay, and of course the chickens are excited. It's been a while. Okay. See what I'm doing? Okay, just like that. So again, put it on your fingers and then this is where... So the process basically is, okay, you just press hard but not too hard. Move it left and right, left and right, okay? Press, move, left and right, left and right. Okay, and what you'll have is something that's very curly. Okay, you see that? It's very roughly. And then, now the measurement, this is already... 5.5 centimeter, okay? It's 5.5 centimeter by 4 centimeter. Okay, so what you need to do now, using your tweezers, okay? So I'll just pinch this center, okay? From the center, going here a little bit, okay? So I'll just need to create two pinches. Okay, because later on we will color this with color yellow see that it's like that and then you need to bend this okay so how will you know until when will you bend remember our wire is until here okay almost half so you need to bend it just like so okay and then you can actually let this dry upwards like that and then after that i'll show you how to attach the other petals here and then the other petal okay so just like that you have to do this on all the big petals okay so right now we are still drying our bigger petals okay see that the three pieces so basically that's how you should dry it so you folded it a little bit and then let it flop because that's how it should really look like okay you see that it's very natural. We want it. Okay, so we'll be working with the upper petal. Okay, so this is what it looks like. See that? Okay, so basically this is our one centimeter ball. So what you need to do, first you need to massage the paste. Okay, and then after that, you need to elongate both ends. Okay, on your palm. So from one centimeter, it's now already... 2.5 centimeter. Oops. Okay. It rolled away. Just like that. Okay. It's 2.5 centimeter. So what you need to do now, you need to make it longer. So for it to be at least 3 centimeter. Okay. And then after that, using the same method, I'll press on the sides. Okay. Press, press, and then press. Okay. Just like that. We keep on pressing just the sides. Okay. So we are leaving... Just like a crease at the center. That's how you want it, okay? There should be a line because that's where you'll be inserting your wire. Okay, after that, so the size now is already 4.5 centimeter, okay? So we need to make it 5 centimeter. So to do that, you just gently need to expand the edges. Okay? Make it longer. 
It should be at least 5 cm to 5.5. Okay, so let's measure now. Okay, so this is already 5.5 cm and then we're good. So what you need to do now, I'll just elongate, uh, I mean, spread it a little bit, okay? And then, you need to get your wire number 28 or 26. You can use any of the two. Okay, just insert. Okay, so sometimes that happens. You see that the floral tape is moving. So what you need to do, just twist. Okay, twist, insert, and twist. So you have to insert until here, okay? Until the middle. And then you need to press, lock, press, and lock, press, and lock to hold it on place. Just like that. And then using your barbecue stick or bamboo skewers, just need to create lines, okay? So when you're creating lines, it starts from the end going outside, okay? And then gently curving a little bit, okay? This is for the upper petals. You see that? And then after that, of course, we want to make it wider. So just pull off the sides. Just like that, okay? And then you can actually go on again with the... See that? So that's what you should have. And then should make the edges more roughly. Just like that. And then you need to fold this a little bit. Just like so. See that? It's curved a little bit. So you can actually let this dry again. Same as the bigger petals. So that it attains the natural like flopping motion okay or you can actually put this on a spoon a spoon that is inverted so just put it like that okay and then later on once this is dry i'll show you how to make the smaller petal okay okay so right now we'll work on with the smaller size of the ball so this is a uh, half a centimeter or 0.5 Basically, uh, of course, you need to massage the face. And then after that, we need to elongate one part to make it into a teardrop. And then after that, you need to press it with your finger. Okay, just like so. If it sticks a little bit, you just need to dab a little cornstarch, okay? And then just press, okay? And then the measurement, this is now 2 centimeter, okay? And of course, the chicken are so excited again. And then after that, okay, using your smaller ball tool. Oh God, they're so excited. Okay, just put your finger here and then just gently expand. Okay, just like that. Make it into a fan shape, okay? And then, now the measurement, this is already, this is 2.5 centimeter by 3 centimeter, okay? It's 2.5 by 3 centimeter and then you see that this part is actually a bit thick. So what you need to do, you just need to pull it, okay, just to elongate it like that. And now the measurement, the length is 3.5, okay? And then using your barbecue skewers, okay, or bamboo skewers or barbecue stick, just need to create lines. Again, same technique. Create lines, okay. This is for the veining. And then make the edges a bit curly. Okay, and then after that, you'll put an edible glue. So for the Tylo glue, it's on the description box below. I suggest you check it out. I put it on a V motion, okay? Just like so. And then, what you want to do is to hold it like a taco shell. And then you need to get one of the bigger petal. It's just like this one. And I will attach it just right here, okay? See that? That level. Okay, and then you need to pinch this a little bit. See that? So there's like a spacing. Okay, and then flat this part. Okay? And then what I will do now, I will actually open this and flip it a little bit. Okay? Just like the real petal. Okay? 
But some species of iris, you can actually... Hello, zoom in. Okay. But some species of iris, you can actually tear this up. Okay. Just using your nails and your fingers, you can actually tear it. Just like that. Okay, to make it look more natural. Basically, this should be like that, okay? Because when we arrange later our iris flower, it's gonna be this, okay, and then this, okay? So I have to do this on all the petals. See that? It's very pretty. Okay, so right now, our petals are already dry, so we'll start coloring or adding some accents to our flower. So a lot of you actually asked me, what if I don't have an airbrush or what if I don't have a specific dust that I need for the flowers? Can What alternative can we use? So a lot of you asked me that question and you know what? Basically, sometimes if I don't have uh, an access to an airbrush or let's say my other staff is using the airbrush, what I actually use is an ordinary spray bottle. Okay, just like so. This one you can buy at your grocery stores or the pharmaceutical companies. Okay, and then what I mix in, I have here my color blue edible color or uh, color gel. And then I added some gin or vodka, okay? It's important to use gin or vodka so that it dries faster, okay? So basically, you need a container like this or a bowl. This is where you spray so your table won't be affected by the colors okay so well what i will do here i want the top part to be very dark and the middle part not dark okay so what i need to do first you need to spray okay just to test out the colors just like that okay and then you need to spray from afar okay so that it's gonna be just like that you see that so now you see that there's like an ombre effect. So the difference is if you use this method, you'll have those speckled effect. You see that? Okay? Which is what we wanted for an iris. But if you wanted to make it super clean and you don't want to have those speckled spots, you need to resort to using an airbrush. Okay? So you need to let this dry first and then later we will assemble. Okay, so the petals that we actually sprayed with uh, gel color with vodka or gin is actually drying up. But if you don't want to do that, let's say you're a little bit scared of spraying it all over the place, you can actually use um, a dust that is color blue. But as of now, I don't have a specific dust that's color blue, so I showed you the method of how to use this spray bottle. Okay, so we'll be working with other petals. Okay, so this is the bigger petal wherein we attach the smallest petal okay you see that so you see the line that we created earlier so what you need to do you need to get your edible glue okay so very little okay so you have to put very little edible glue all on that part okay see that so once you see that it's a bit shiny that's okay that's good to go and then what i have here this is my gelatin powder and then i added uh, yellow petal dust. So the brand that I'm using is Rainbow Dust, okay? You can also use Sugar Flare. So just add a little bit of yellow, shake it, and then you'll have something like this. And then using your brush that you use for color yellow, just get a little and then just sprinkle it on the area that you added some glue. Okay? Pilo glue. You see that? And then you need to tap out the excess and of course, it's gonna be like that. That's normal, don't panic, okay? So what you need to do now, uh, you need to remove all the excess, okay? So only the central part should remain. Okay, just like, so you see that? So you remove all the excess. That's what should only remain. Okay, and then what I have here, this is basically a plate. And then I add some droplets of the, the blue color here. So I'll be teaching you how to use the dry brush technique. So basically, this is my fine brush and then it's really dry. So what you need to do, just, okay, just torture the end just like that or just dab it on the surface of your table. So you'll have a lot of bristles just like that scattered. 
So what you need to do, get a little bit of liquid and then get a little bit of the darker color. Okay, just like that and then wet all the bristles. So what you need to do... Okay, so what you need to do now, so starting from the edge, okay, I'm just going to randomly brush going inwards. You see that? Because if you use uh, a wet brush, you won't be able to have those strikes that we wanted. See that? So you have to start from outside going inwards, okay? See that? See the difference? Okay, so this is a dry brush technique. The beauty with this one is that you can actually create those strikings and those markings that are very natural looking. This one you cannot achieve using a dust, so I use a color gel or liquid color when I'm doing this, okay? okay it should look like that, okay? And then for the smaller petal here, so what I will do... Again, the same technique outside going inner. Okay. Just like that. Okay, you see that's very pretty. So I need to do this on the other petals also. Okay. Okay, so now our petals are already dry. So for the drying time, uh it's safe to let it dry for about 5 to 10 minutes after you color or spray them. So it's not going to be a little bit soft, okay? So basically for the ends, as you see here, I also use a dry brush technique just to have those veinings highlighted, okay? So for the main stem, what I'm using is a barbecue skewer or a barbecue stick. So basically, um, you just need to attach the three pieces of the petals together, okay? So just attach them all facing each other, okay? So I have here my floral tape. I'll just wrap them. Just move this here. And then I'll place the other one just right so, okay? We have to be at the same level, okay? Uh, similar way on how you arrange two lips, okay? After that, it's gonna be like that. It's normal, so you just have to move petals okay you can open it up a little bit but not too much okay it should be like so okay after that once you have the three petals facing each other like in a triad shape you need to get one of your petals first okay and then you see the space here this is where you will insert one of this petal like that okay see that and of course you need to bend it a little bit and then of course wrap with your floral tape see that that's how it should look like this one you can make it more closed if you want or make it more open and then on the spaces in between hello focus okay on the spaces in between that's where you add this larger set of petals okay so basically it's gonna be like a triad okay see that so move it here okay that's how it should look like same level so when you're wrapping this you have to wrap it hard so the petals won't move okay see that it's very pretty and of course, the last one. Okay, and then you have to wrap the entire bottom. Okay. So we'll just cover this up. So then.
Okay, so there you have it. This is your iris flower. You see that it's very pretty. So for the center, you can actually manipulate this more, okay, on the shape that you want. Also this ones. Okay, see that. So basically that's how it should look like. See that, it's very pretty. And we didn't use any cutters for this one. See that. Okay. So for the leaves, normally what I do, so I have here a floral tape, color green, same color system. I cut this, uh, this is around 4 inches, I think 3.5, sorry. So I need to expand to activate the stickiness. And then after that, we just need to pinch one end, okay, to make it look like a leaf, just like that. And then, basically, um, you just need to attach it here, okay? Then just twist it over. See that? So there you have it. This is your beautiful iris flower. Okay. It's perfect for your cakes and your floral arrangements. Look at that. It's so pretty.